Keep it rolling, everybody. Our next comedian coming up, very funny gentleman. Please welcome Kieran Elliott. <laughs> I didn't do beauty pageants either. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've just found out my name. Kieran means strap on in Farsi. Farsi <laughs> 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 didn't tell me that's good. I should be proud to tell. I'm still laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking funny. Uh, no, I am from Scotland, as you can probably tell. Any Scottish people in the house? Yes! <laughs> because I invited them. Uh, and the first thing you find out about being Scottish in LA or American in general is everybody thinks you can drink like a fish. And everybody insists on testing you at every available opportunity. I wasn't a good drinker when I came to America. I fucking am now. <laughs> Now, Scotland itself is not known for manufacturing or producing anything, apart from whiskey and alcoholics. Now, I wonder if there's some sort of correlation there, do you think? It's obviously a meeting that I missed. There's a memo I didn't read. I think what happened was there's two little Scottish guys on a mountainside in the driving rain because it's summer. And one turned to the other one and said, Hamish, what is it, Angus? Do you know that whiskey stuff you've invented? Aye. I've noticed an interesting side effect. Everybody who drinks it to excess ends up penniless, destitute, and really, really smelly. <laughs> really? Well, let's make it the national drink then! <laughs> right. Now, uh, when, I, when I first came to America, there was things that you learn, there's things that they don't teach you. Things that you have to find out by yourself. I noticed when I first came here, every second van has got a, a sticker on the back saying, how's my driver? <laughs> Call this number, 1-800-555-555. How is my driver? I didn't know it was to report bad drivers. It doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? I phoned one up and, and left a message. Said, this is Kieran. I'm from Culver City. I saw you out driving today on the 405, and I just wanted to say, well done. <laughs> the way you overtook that car then got right back in your lane. Your use of mirrors, signaling. Fucking cool. Anyway, cheerio. I was heartbroken, ladies and gentlemen. The fucker never called me back. <laughs> Now, America's got some great heroes. You ask anyone in Scotland, do you know any American heroes? And they go, oh, guy, oh, there's George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, there's that Barack Obama guy. Come over here, ask any American, do you know Scottish heroes? And they go, ah, oh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. I know all the Scottish heroes, man, yeah, there's, there's, there's Shrek. Shrek 2. Mel Gibson. Furious I was. No mention of Scrooge McDuck whatsoever. <laughs> now there's a few hidden delights about being Scottish in America. Uh, and, and one of the, my favourites is uh, I have a foreskin. And it's swinging free. Uh, the, yeah. most amazing, yeah, it's true. Uh, the, the, the most amazing thing about having a foreskin is watching American women trying to work that little fucker out. <laughs> but like this, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like the first time you were handed a Pez dispenser. What was supposed to do with it? With a head? And, Oh, there's the cannon. All the way up on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was a few things 
thing you know we have to address. Uh, you know, being Scottish, there's a few things we have to talk about. People believe the strangest things about Scotland. They think it's a land of myth and magic. There's people the world over, educated, grown-ass people, who genuinely believe that the Loch Ness Monster exists. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously. Everybody knows the Loch Ness Monster was eaten by those little green leprechauns from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing, the you know, recognisable thing, apart from guilt, obviously, uh, is bagpipes. Has anyone ever seen people playing bagpipes? Yeah. What kind of an instrument is that? <laughs> selection process there. How did that come about? How did that become an instrument? <laughs> well, guess what? I've done some research. And I know, and I'm going to tell you. There was two little Scottish guys on a mountainside. In the driving rain! Because it's fucking Scotland. And one turns to the other one and says, Hamish, oh, oh Jesus! I didn't see you for the driving rain there. What is it? Yeah. I've invented another instrument. Oh, Angus, your instruments are shite. No, 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 no. This one's different. <laughs> when you play this one, it sounds like you're raping an art fuck. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Let's make it the national instrument! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the funeral. Me and my first time on the Little Bible Bar. We have a funeral here, and a store of